Uh, oh, oh, this John Kennedy ad would actually be a good one. To okay, it's, sure. It's short, too. Which number is this? Number 10. Number 10. Okay, here we go. Um, is he, what, what, when's he up for re-election? He is currently running for re-election against Gary Chambers, who, um, right. you, know, yes, the, you know, primary candidate from Central yes. former district in Louisiana. Um, great candidate, obviously just tough state to run in. State yeah. And, and, you know, even if Gary Chambers is unsuccessful in unseating John Kennedy, this is the kind of thing where we have been bullish on this on the majority report, which is running candidates for for federal office or for in gubernatorial races like what happened in georgia with stacy abrams where they have a uh excellent strategy that is not just like money pouring in like what happened with amy mcgrath in kentucky yeah, from like a national democratic party where they build an infrastructure within the state that can sustain itself and then maybe elect candidates going forward yeah and that's kind of the same thing that's kind of happening with marcus flowers the the candidate running against marjorie taylor green the democratic candidate it just basically kind of now looks like it's a siphon for donator monies and consultant class people just to kind of like get a job for a few months yeah. and lose by 40 points like chambers is not one of those people no in my opinion and so uh it's he's likely not going to win but still very much support gary chambers if you're in louisiana versus john kennedy uh and here's kennedy's new ad talking about crime in louisiana specifically defund the police and uh he ends the ad in a way that i think is something to note Violent crime is surging in Louisiana. Woke leaders blame the police. I blame the criminals. A mom should not have to look over her shoulder when she's pumping gas. I voted against the early release of violent criminals, and I opposed defunding the police. Look, if you hate cops just because they're cops, the next time you get in trouble, call a crackhead. I'm John Kelly, and I approve this message. When... Is that the options? Yeah. <laughs> Crackhead or cop. That's it. Just want to be clear, and the, and it gets so funny that this is this was the person who pointed this out. But in like some random hearing, I don't remember what Senator Ben Sass of Nebraska pointed out how like guy like senators behind closed doors don't act like they do on camera and he's like he essentially was like john kennedy acts like he's like foghorn leghorn in public and he's actually like a Rhodes scholar and like went to vanderbilt law and harvard undergrad and mm. stuff like that it's like just i just like sometimes want people to remember that like this is not some folksy guy he's literally a fraud in, yeah. like, in like, a, like like wrapped up in like a hokey statesman's uh uniform ted cruz is this way yeah. as well like they pretend that they're not the elites that they rail against but um yeah the crackhead thing might have some racial undertones i don't know uh man well i mean look uh their crime is what they've coalesced look, behind we can admit that the uh the defund the police initiative to replace cops with crackheads on call was a bit of an overreach mm -hmm. um and maybe that we should just stick to like i don't know um social workers and other sort of this might like that. i wonder that's if a compromise position i wonder if this might be the next thing after the busing migrants to blue states is is setting up a police dispatch line next to like a homeless encampment in new orleans basically saying oh we're just rerouting our nine one don't our give nine. them ideas yeah sorry guys is, I'm, I'm not being a conservative strategist right now it's a joke <laughs> i mean but honestly don't take this carl rove <laughs> but let's say i mean hey look we will as you say matt we'll abandon the crackhead uh call line crackhead on call yeah, yeah and uh, and then we can just find a middle ground between keeping the police as they are and uh, the crackhead call line, which is community-based uh, policing, which is police getting severely defunded and restructured so that they are more oriented towards the people that they are serving, not occupying, one that has uh, social workers and people designed to help deal with mental health, one that is not... Uh, that severely reduces traffic stops, especially with cops who are armed, and more. Uh, we can find common ground there. Uh, Kennedy. Yeah, the solution to crime is uh, not more cops, it's uh, more resources. <laughs>